Let's kick off 2021 with our first tutorial. This one's fun. The making of a couple's massage routine. For Christmas 2020, I gifted my annual and lifetime members with a free massage routine. For you guys that are on the three month or the quarterly subscription, you can still get it for free. Details are in your Melt account. Go check it out down the bottom at the very end of the Melt Masterclass. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. I wanna show you how I create a massage routine because it's a bit of psychology to this. It's not just slapping massage techniques together and going, voila, we have something. There's intention and there's thought process. I, I sit down and I start to think about how I want couples to interact with each other during a 15 minute massage routine. All right, so let me show you what I've done. Let's, let's pull this massage apart. All right, so the beginning of the massage sets the tone of your experience. The music here is designed with no beat. The melody is super simple. There's nothing distracting or overpowering in your ear. Like it's all about your hands. The massage strokes are structured and organized. And I also made sure that what we do on one side, we do on the other side. And this is really important to win your partner over. The more trust you can gain with your partner and the quicker you can get to that drop where your partner relaxes into the massage, the easier the rest of the massage is going to be. What I love about this music, there's no beat, right? Like it doesn't overpower you and lets you start your massage at your own pace. If there was a beat or there was a consistent melody that bounced along, it starts to dictate how your massage stroke should work. But this is literally do what you want that you're most comfortable with. All right, do you hear that, that drone? I use drones and risers to switch between massage techniques and massage sequences. Oh, like it sends chills down through my skin. I just love it. Okay, so here's the entry point to the basic sequence. And every time we dip into the basic massage stroke, you hear this same piano sequence. And I did that on purpose. And this is really clever because I wanted to create an audible and also a physical experience where you can both recognize that, hey, this is something familiar. It's almost like it's a home base. And because our brains are really good at picking up patterns. And so when the brain's like, hey, I know this pattern, I know what's about to happen next, it can tell the body, relax. You don't need to tense up. We know it's all gonna be safe, it's all going to feel good, it's relaxation, flowing strokes with lots of hugs, and oh my God, that hug, oh, so good. Okay, so now we're into the shoulders. The pressure here is firm, but it's not deep. We're prepping our partner, signaling, I've got this, I know what I'm doing, you just go ahead and chill while I do my thing. Note how my massage strokes follow the music and you'll notice as well as the music builds my massage strokes build with it Look at that. that's great i love that okay, so we're starting to work with the music and incorporate some rhythm with what's going on in our ears I think, and this is magical. Like this is what elevates your massage to another level. I love this. You can also see we've moved on from long flowing strokes and we're working on very specific areas of your partner's body. So the golf balls, nice and tight, small areas, focus is all about that release. All four fingers though, yeah? So all four fingers gives us a broad pressure, allows us to create a comfortable release. We can go in deep, but it doesn't feel like 
it's a deep stroke. What we're doing here is we're building confidence and trust. It's so basic, but it works well. I love it. All right, here's the other thing that the reason why I put four sets of basic massage sequence into this entire routine is because when you get to the more specific and deeper tissue massage, the technical part of the massage, you may tend to find that you lose yourself and that'll zap some of your confidence. When you come back to something that you know and you know really well, you build your confidence back up. And also gives a chance for your partner to fall back into you and really enjoy that relaxation part of your massage, especially after we use some deep tissue strokes. And hugs, you guys. Oh, I think it's the best part of the massage is just hugs. Train tracks. Now, this part of the massage is highly rhythmical. I love it. So listen to the music. It stays repetitive all the way through. And you notice that my hands are very repetitive too. It's, it's that simple, one hand after the other motion, palms down, fingertips down. Now there are a bunch of camera angles that I've put in this part of the train track. So what I wanted to display for couples is to show them that not every massage is going to be the same. Actually, no two massages are ever going to be the same. Your body type, your body shape, the way you're positioned is going to change in different massages. And while you're figuring things out and getting to know how to work together, you're going to find that body positions change. The psychology of this is really interesting. The way your partner reacts to your massages, to your hand, will also dictate their body position. Some people will flop over, some people will sit upright and push back into your hands and this will even change based on the emotional experience that your partner might be having maybe they're feeling a little bit sad maybe they're feeling a little bit frisky and their body will reflect what's going on although I will say over time the more you two massage each other the more in tune you're going to be with each other and the more it becomes a dance together so uh, if you're new to this channel, I teach couples how to massage, like <laughs> obviously. Now I, I taught thousands of couples in live workshops before Melt was filmed, yeah? And this is my, let's say my training wheels. I mean, eight years, thousands of couples. One thing I learned was that couples didn't want to know what the anatomical names of muscles were. I wanted everyone to learn the way I learned and quickly found out that people don't want to learn that way. Like they don't want to learn as massage practitioners. So I stopped using names like rhomboids and levator scapula, which is what we're working on here, right? People would blank over in live workshops. You could literally see people checking out and not wanting to be there until I started putting silly names in there. And it transformed the course immediately. It's clever, it's really clever. Put it this way. 15, more than 15 years now, and people will still tell me, hey, I did that class with you, and I love the train tracks, or I love the golf balls, or the mushy mushy yum yums. Fascinating, organically grown as well. It's not something that I put too much effort in. I let the live classes, I let the group dictate what the names of the techniques would be. And it all comes down to ba based on how much of a reaction it got, whether people laughed. Like if, if people laughed, mushy mushy yum yums, killed it. And that always makes people laugh. And therefore, I mean, it is a dumb name. I mean, it's straight up, hands down, it's a silly name. But I mean, if it makes every single person laugh, every time in every workshop, I don't care how dumb it is, that's the name of that technique. Smell. Everything has been building to this point, yeah? Like we've warmed up the body, we've found rhythm and that meditative state. We've been gaining our partner's trust and sharing moments with hugs, like, oh my God, those hugs are so nice. They're so good. And then it's all been building to this moment. Like it's pure depth and exceptional release. For the first time, we start hearing drums. There's some funky vocals in the background too, which I love. Here's building and building. And then this bit.
there's two parts to this music. I, I, I adore this. Like, listen to the undertone. There's this pushing. It's almost like uh, synth horns, but you can feel the intention is like slow and pushing. And you see the hands can work with that. But then on top of the music, there's this bounce. And you can work with either or, right? You can even work with both at the, kind of like the same time. Like push slowly and really get in deep and then wash it out with the top of the rhythm. Oh, it's so good. I love it. I love it so much. So emotional as well with that vocal part to it. Pushing, and then watch. Now I'm using the bounce. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I love that. I mean, you can find your own rhythm and timing with this. You don't have to follow me exactly. But if you can visualize that undertone pushing, and this is your deep tissue, your super slow, like sit there, hold it, let the music carry you, like just millimeter by millimeter, just like that and then grab the top bounce and wash it out. Ha, oh, so good. And we dip into the basic stroke. That piano takes off again. It's all about the hugs. It's our brain going, oh, we like this. We know what's happening. Here's the other important part of this is every time we use really deep massage, like really deep massage, it's nice to support it with relaxation massage the relaxation part of your massage carries and extends that feeling of deep tissue. If you just go deep, 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 it, it kind of just blurs itself and just feels like it's overwhelming. Whereas something like this, where we've used the basic stroke, it carries through that feeling of release because Emma's train tracks are still releasing even though I'm massaging her neck now. I look so good. I love this. Okay, so we're coming up to the end of the massage now. Now this is also one of my favorite parts. I'm working with the neck, which was just a little filler that I wanted to throw in there. It's always nice to cover parts of the body that haven't been worked on yet. I like this because this is super technical. Like this sequence that I'm doing here, that's hard. I'm grabbing the front of the golf ball and then pushing through with the heel of my palm. And it's pretty, like it's mad. If you can do this as a couple, you're doing exceptionally well. Like this is something that you can work towards and strive towards, but I mean, it's going to be tough to get this and nail it. Even this sort of stuff is, it's all super high level stuff. I wanted to put it in there. Like if you're on the three month program and you haven't gone beyond the three months, there's no point in trying this. This is way too difficult for you. This is for the annual and the lifetime members that have been doing melt for a very long time and they're confident with their hands. I mean, I'm not saying don't ever try this sort of stuff. Absolutely, you should try it. If you feel confident, jump in, you should. Why not, you know? It's always good to push yourself. But don't feel bad if you're like trying it and you're like, I haven't nailed it yet. There's, there's other more important things to learn and master before getting to this stuff. But I wanted to put in some high level things and that, that rhythm as well. Oh, so good. One of that at the very end of the massage. So you can just really take your hands further than you've, you've taken them before. Here we are at the end of the massage and there's a few things I want to talk about that you may have not picked up on. First up, 15 minutes, really long time. If you're lasting through a 15 minute massage together and you're nailing it all, you're doing very well. Congratulations, I'm very proud of you. It's amazing. Even though it's 15 minutes, we've only worked on pretty much two major muscle groups, the golf balls and the train tracks. That's it. And this is what I love about this massage routine. There are four basic massage sequences and then just shoulders and train tracks, which means that if you know how to nail this routine, 
you can start throwing in other massage techniques at any point. Like there's plenty of room to put it in there. Like the whole purpose of this massage routine is to grow with you. Add your own techniques as you get to understand and remember this massage routine. And it shouldn't be that hard because remember, there's just two muscle groups and a whole bunch of basics that were thrown in there. The other thing that you may have not picked up on is that we don't use thumbs at all, not once in this massage routine. And that's been done on purpose. And the reason why I've done that is because A, thumbs are our default go-to. Every couple in the entire world will go to their thumbs first and massage like crazy with their thumbs. It feels natural and they feel good. So I left your A game out so at any time you want, you can throw in thumbs. This is what makes this massage routine so versatile. You don't have to do the ending the way I did it. You can do it your way. You can just do all thumbs if you want. Or you can move into a head massage if you like. It doesn't matter. It's all open to interpretation, your interpretation. One last thing that I want to talk about. I just want to show you that even the professionals that have been massaging for a long time, 20 years, I still get things wrong. I want to show you part of this clip that doesn't make it into Melt's Masterclass because of clever editing. I put it in here on purpose so I could show you that even Dennis makes mistakes. And it's not as, like, the mistake is not that important. It's how you react to a mistake. Okay, here it is, watch this. And then I come in, my right hand, boom, hits Emma's shoulder and then continues through. The deal is, the mistake is not as important as what your reaction to the mistake is. Like you're going to make mistakes. I still make mistakes. Every professional massage practitioner out there will make a mistake. They'll either, they can rip through a massage, they might bump into something, they might slip. They might just not be present at that time, which is okay, it happens. But it's how you react to it. You don't need to apologize to your partner and say, oops, sorry, or put attention on the mistake. You can just continue and flow. And I promise you, your partner will be like, I didn't even notice it, or I don't even care. You know, there was just a moment in time that happened, and then we move on. It's when you start putting emphasis on a mistake that it might turn into a repetitive mistake and then things start falling apart. If you make the same mistake twice, three times, your partner starts going, okay, you don't have this, I no longer feel like you're confident and therefore I start putting my guard up. If that ever happens to you, the solution is to go back to the basic strokes. The basic strokes is what builds your confidence. Ground yourself, grab confidence, get your partner to relax into the massage again and then go nail it. You'll get it, you have so many opportunities to get this right. What do you think? There's a bunch of thought that goes into creating a massage scene. I, I love that thing. Like, I think, I mean, it can be polished, I must say. Uh, and I, this is all done in post. Like, I've got the music just before Christmas. I spent all of December doing this. I know it was filmed back in 2014, so I haven't got exactly the strokes to work with the music and had I spent more time with it, I could have slowed the footage down so my hands were exactly in sync with the music, but you get the idea, right? I mean, the techniques are there. You can use your ears to catch the beat and find your rhythm in that. So anyways, I have got ideas of creating more of these routines. And let me know in the comments below if, if you like these ideas or doing something that's like more energetic, you know, that gives you energy and, and maybe a massage routine that we can do before bed to help us calm down and relax and sleep, you know? Um, maybe actually even do something that's more central and even more focused around hugs. I'm not quite sure. There, there's many different avenues to go now that we opened up the idea of using psychology, or of using intention on how we want couples to engage with each other. And by the way, of course, any routines that I make, lifetime members, straight up, you guys get this stuff for free. Your accounts will always just be updated with any new routines that I make in the future. All right, 
let's get back into the swing of things. 2021, I plan on making a whole bunch more content to get back into the swing of it for sure. I definitely have had a bit of a break, an extended break, and oh, it's been good. It's been so good. Good to see you.